All right, guys, how's it going? Well, the real football's back. It seems like it's been ages, doesn't it? Have you been bored? Senseless. I have. I've not watched any international football at all. I think England beat Scotland. Uh, I think Harry Maguire got a lot of stick. And that's about all I know. That's it. I couldn't tell you anything else. Uh, and even that's just stuff that's flashed up. I've not read anything. I hate it. I'm not really interested, to be honest with you. So, uh, Jurgen Klopp had his pre-match press conference today. So... That means the real football's back, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, first of all, I should thank you, uh, those of you that uh, wish me a happy birthday on Wednesday, and those of you that bought me a drink, it was very nice. Um, thank you so much, I had a great day. I really did have a very, very, very good day, probably one of my best birthdays in a long time. Uh, came crashing down to earth yesterday, the day after my birthday, you know, just be back to life and reality, and uh, just wasn't the best of days, really. Um, but today's a new day and uh, we go again, do you know what I'm saying? And um, I kind of like, you know, during these international breaks, I miss speaking to you guys, you know. Um, so hopefully we can get into uh, into a routine again, start talking about the football. So um, it was interesting at today's press conference because Jürgen was asked about Mo Salah. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not in the mood to do the Fabrizio Romano impression. Uh, he was asked about Mo Salah and he, you know, he responded, you know, like, is it, really, the window's been closed a week and you want to ask me about Mo leaving in January? But the thing is, we said this, didn't we? We, we know this is going to go on all season. Uh, and we know Mo's going to go up there eventually. It's just a matter of when, not if. Um, you know, so we have to, we have to be uh, prepared for this. And what does Jürgen expect, really? You know, like, people are going to be asking this all the time. Um, but he just basically said, you know, I'm, I'm not bothered, I'm not worried, I'm not even thought about it until you mentioned it, which I can imagine that being the case. You know, they just get on with it, you know, um, be professional, crack on. Uh, I'm sure run, run, run me a, rammy, 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 run me a bath, ram, ram, ram me a, ram me a bath. I'm sure the agent, Mo Salah's agent, uh, will be uh, dealing with things in the background and, and all that. So uh, no shocks coming, I don't think. You know, what will be, will be. But we are going to be subjected to speculation and they are going to ask the manager questions like that. But what was most interesting, I thought, at today's press conference, he can't stand James Pearce. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, dear me. You've got to watch the press conference. Uh, James Pearce asked him, just, you know, asked him a perfectly fine question, really, about, you know, early kickoffs and stuff like that. And Jürgen, we could just see him go, like, yeah, I'd love to know what Jürgen Klopp really thinks. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so you need to watch it. If you haven't seen today's press conference, go and watch it. And uh, that was right at the end, I think, uh, when I watched it. Um, so, yeah, uh, not really a great deal to talk to you about. Uh, we could make videos every day talking about transfer rumours and speculation. Maybe we will do that because otherwise we might not have anything to talk about, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I think on the investment front, possible club sale, I don't think that's gone away. Um, it's not wishful thinking on my part. I know everyone's really quiet about it, but it hasn't been put to bed from what I understand. So I think we might start to uh, at least, you know, see the rumours again, even if it's just like silly rumours. I think we might see them again from October, possibly November again. You know, like last year it was November, wasn't it, when it came out? So don't be surprised by that. Um, in the background, nobody's really talking about anything, but I guess that's because of the... Uh, the international break. I don't know about you, uh, but I've been, you know, really like positive with the way the the season started. So I was disappointed that we broke for um, the internationals. Uh, I'm I'm trying to avoid the negativity. I don't want to talk about the owners. I don't want to talk about Bellingham. It's gone. It's history. You know, like I just want to move on now. Been really happy with the midfield players that we've uh, we've purchased, especially you know the ones that we've seen, uh, and um, just upbeat a little bit. You know, so I'd rather stay upbeat and positive. Wouldn't you? Because, uh, you know, our opinions are not going to change about the owners, I don't think. And we can we can talk about it and go round and round and round and round in circles forever, but it's not going to change anything. So I would rather stay to, uh, you know, on, on uh, with more positive subjects, really. Uh, you know, things like talking about Nunes, finding his feet uh, and looking fantastic, as Brendan Rogers would say. So all in all, uh, nothing much to say, really, other than, you know, we are going to get this speculation about Mo Salah all the time. Jürgen, <laughs> James Pierce, he's, he's, he's cruising for a bruising, he's James Pierce off Klopp, isn't he? Um, but it's all part of like one big family, I think. You know, like there's you guys, there's me, there's them. 
we all make up this family to do with Liverpool Football Club. Pretty dysfunctional, fucked up family, but uh, some of us have got those anyway. Well, I don't really have any family left, to be honest. They've all left me, you know what I mean? They're all... They're all up there in heaven, like, you know, apart from my auntie and uncles and that. But you know what I mean? I suppose I've got my kids and my grandson. Um, but it's like one big family, this Liverpool family, you know. And you would miss the people that annoy you, I think, if they weren't around. Do you know what I mean? Like, some of you guys would like, I can't stand James Pierce. But if they weren't around, you'd have nothing to moan about like that, would you? You know what I mean? So, um, I hope you're okay. Again, thank you for, um, you know, your birthday messages on Wednesday. It's totally impossible to respond to everyone. I'm very grateful for those of you that, you know, bought me a beer or whatever, and I did drink some beer. Uh, it was a lovely day. Um, it was really, really nice. Uh, but now that's behind us now. You know, we, we're going to move forward. I'm looking forward to the football at the weekend. Um, I have visitors here until, uh, until well, some I've got visitors leaving tomorrow, Saturday, leaving Sunday and leaving um, Monday. So and these are all cop talk people. Sean is here. Martin Mason is here. Brad Partridge, Laura is here, you know, so, and they all go on different days, you know. So I'm sure in due course you will be seeing some footage from our day out together the other day. On Saturday night, steaming, streaming, uh, if we do that tomorrow night. Um, at the moment, I'm not really in the mood for it, but that might change. All right, so uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, please leave me a comment, let me know what you're thinking. Are you seeing anything out there at the moment of interest with Liverpool Football Club? Have you read anything of interest? Please do drop me a comment, because I'd like to see what you guys have to say. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll be in touch in due course. All right, guys, take care.